Now all this mail we've been getting isn't just from you guys out there. People are constantly asking us, what's happening with the ladies of the sport? Well, on this profile, we decided to go straight to the source, to the cutting edge, to find out exactly what's happening on the women's surfing scene. Surfing is unquestionably a male-dominated sport, but as the 80s draw to a close, women are taking to the surf in greater and greater numbers. In the amateur surfing associations, women's surfing has long been established as an important division at the national and international level. But for a couple of dozen women trying to make a career in professional surfing, it's still an uphill battle to gain public acceptance, media coverage, and sponsorship. While women's surfing performances are improving by leaps and bounds, in terms of prize money, women's pro surfing often seems to be falling farther and farther behind. It really bothers me a lot of the times because, like you said, it is very male orientated. Um, I think a lot of the organisers and a lot of people who are behind surfing um, are really are males who are very interested in male surfing and that's it. They're not interested in watching females compete. So therefore, women's side of it tends to get left out. I think maybe if we could pick up um, a sole sponsors that backed us in every competition, no matter if we surf with the men's or not, but just like a, a big corporation that would just back the women. So there's always, you know, the money up there for us. At the moment, nine people earn money, you know, and the rest, I don't know where they get it, you know. I, I used to scrape around. So just to get it to the men's level, it, which is say double or triple the prize money would be a big deal, you know. And I think it's possible. Debbie Beecham, a Californian surfer who's been involved with women's pro surfing for more than a decade and is an ex-world champion, continues to play an important role in promoting the sport and pushing for improvements. Being part of the sport for so many years, I really can see it from all sides and the competitors and the girls in the sport really work hard at what they're doing and it's, it's just nice to see them get some recognition and what they deserve from what they're doing. There is so much interest in the sport of women's surfing outside of this small realm of the industry that the ideal thing would be for the industry to, to pick that up and run with it. For the top women, it's a constant battle to surf in the shadow of the men who get much more recognition and publicity. I mean, it's taken me three years to get a sponsor, and I've been in the top eight for two years, and usually when you're in the top eight, it'd be easier to get a sponsor, but it's just, it's a man's, men's market. Pam Burridge has been making a career out of surfing and has years of experience to give her a unique perspective. You know, perhaps it is, it is getting a little better, but um, there, you'll always have a few vocal um, people that, that really don't accept women in surfing. And generally it's, it's guys that position is threatened by women surfers. Like perhaps guys that do contests and they're not in the top ten, they're down the bottom, you know, they're, they're struggling too and they're resentful. Due to the efforts of women like Debbie Beecham, Frida Zamba, Wendy Botha and Pam Burridge, women surfing is making progress, but it'll be the continued persistence of women competitors themselves that will eventually make the world take notice. When that finally happens, women surfing will take its rightful place alongside the men in the world of competitive surfing. The general public likes women surfing, they like to see women that surf, they think it's amazing stuff, you know, and especially when they surf well. And the top women nowadays are surfing very well and I think that surfing is becoming more of just, just surfing, not women surfing with the style and the grace and the pose. It's not so much like that anymore, it's more just surfing and the manoeuvres are becoming the same. It's such a challenge that you want to stick with it. And now for something completely different. We've heard your request for something totally outrageous.